everybody, my name is Irina, this is Montana, and you're watching your favorite Russian. Russian reaction and reviews. Guys, I just realized that we didn't watch The Family Guy for such a long time already, and I'm like, that's not good. That's not good. Even Montana saying it's not good enough <laughs> for us. Great, right? So, and we decided to watch some Ru Russian, <laughs> some Family Guy, some Family Guy, not Russian, unfortunately, but not less interesting because it's gonna be Family Guy deleted since, 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 so deleted episodes from the family because it was too much for TV. And I'm like, damn, that's interesting. So let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Montana left. <laughs> okay, let's go. Sometimes scenes are cut for content reasons, and some are clearly just way too long to make it to air. But one season six deleted scene was very obviously cut for what it contains, as the bit itself is barely five seconds long. Peter comments on needing a tattoo removed and rolls up his sleeve to reveal a tattoo Aww. that says, black people make me uncomfortable. No wonder he wants that one gone, and no wonder uh, they didn't want to let that. Sometimes, yeah, I'm really, I'm always, uh, when I'm watching Family Guy, I'm like, isn't too much, you know, because you're like, sometimes you're feeling yourself so uncomfortable when you're watching it, but okay. Little moment onto TV either. In the season 12 episode, Baby Got Black, Peter, Quagmire, and Joe make a bet as to which one of them can stay awake the longest. Things go all right until 62 hours in, when the guys really start- 62 hours, how many days is that? It's less than three days because three days and 72 hours and okay. <laughs> Interesting. ...to lose it and begin hallucinating. In a truly disturbing and surprisingly graphic deleted scene, Quagmire hallucinates Peter's butt turning into a fly and attacking him. In reality, Peter was himself hallucinating that Quagmire was a toilet, which managed to oh stay gosh. in the episode. The fly transition, however, definitely did not make it to TV. Another yes, joke in season so weird. 12 might have proven just too hot button for the Fox Network. One second. Good now. <laughs> liking, and the fact that they cut this bit is not really all that surprising. Peter sets up a classic Family Guy cutaway gag by telling Chris about the time he was Roe's boyfriend. We don't know who Roe is until it reveals that Peter is in the middle of the famous Supreme Court case, okay. Roe v. Wade. When the court rules in favor of Roe, Peter is delighted and tells his very pregnant girlfriend to... Everyone was thrilled to see Cleveland return to Family Guy. No one more so Aww. than Peter. That's interesting. I love when like some new uh, people, new like characters coming to the to like movie, you know, and to like the cartoon. That's cool. Himself, but when their wives don't get along, Peter and Cleveland are forbidden to see each other. So they start sneaking out to the country to do so. In a long deleted scene, we see the two of them meeting at a cabin, and each time they one up each other with the drugs they bring to the hangout. First beer, then pot, then acid, crystal meth, and finally Peter brings ten rounds of chemotherapy, which for some reason they partake in. Poor Meg. She really just can't catch a break. But maybe by deleting Ew. this pretty brutal scene, the network was actually giving her one for once. In a one-off gag in oh, season 12, well, an old-timey nemesis of Stewie's shows up as the family is eating dinner and attempts to shoot him. While he just grazes Stewie's arm, oh, Meg God. ends up taking the bullet right between oh. the eyes. She died. Wow. Oh my God. She died? Ice, and lies there bleeding from the head in front of everyone. Of course, none of the family pays any attention and completely ignores poor, Hi, poor me. Meg. There's nothing Family Guy loves more than a seemingly random setup for a good cutaway gag. But maybe this one was just a bit too much to air on TV. When commenting on Joe's grilling, Peter says that the burgers he's cooking are still colder than an Asian in-law. They then cut to a white guy being harshly questioned by his Asian father-in-law about his education, job, and yearly salary. The father is bluntly critical until he finds out how much his son-in-law makes per year, before cheering right up after he finds- Six figure, fig, figure, fig, figure, fig. You know what I was saying? <laughs> Turns out it's quite a lot. 
Brian has had a lot of girlfriends over the years, but perhaps his biggest heartbreak was Jillian, the sweet but not so bright blonde voiced by Drew Barrymore. In a deleted scene, when Peter is getting to know Jillian and what kind of wedding she wants, he asks her if she wants a Jewish wedding. When Jillian asks why she'd want that, Peter reveals that he was sneakily trying to find out if she was hiding the fact that she was Jewish. It's pretty questionable why he would even care whether she was or wasn't. We all know that Dr. Hartman is pretty much the worst doctor out there, and really the last person you'd want operating on you. In one particular deleted scene, he really proves why. While Lois is in the hospital, Dr. Hartman enters the room chewing on something. When Peter asks what it is, Hartman actually says it's Lois's tumor, and that a hazard of working in the cancer ward is getting addicted to them. Of all the gro- What? Oh my god. Most things Family Guy has ever done, they may have seriously outdone themselves with that one. Family Guy isn't known for being very sensitive when it comes to issues about race, but at least they tend to make fun of literally everyone evenly. Even still, some jokes prove too much to let on network TV. Like this one about a girl Brian brings home named Mina. Peter is wowed by how exotic she looks, and when he finds out that she is half Indian and half African American, he says it was smart of her family to breed out the breathing problems. Thankfully, Brian cuts him off before he can explain further. Oh my god, yeah. Too much. In the episode Spies Reminiscent of Us, Stewie and Brian wind up following Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase to Russia. While complaining that they have made a terrible mistake, Stewie says that coming to Russia was a worse idea than a leper colony doing the hokey pokey. What follows is the single saddest version of the song and dance that you've ever seen, with limbs falling all over the place and the group looking like they're on death's door. Why they would ever decide to give the hokey pokey a try in the first place is beyond- hey. <laughs> That was quite interesting. <laughs> what do you think about it? Okay, that's not I like I thought it's gonna be worse, but it's still they they already you know too much for everything, but I'm so it's so cool when somebody are so br br brave when somebody is so brave to make this type of movie, this type of cartoons because oh wow <laughs> that's for me it's uh, a little bit like that's cool. That's just cool. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it and your favorite Russian YouTuber. See you guys soon.